So I'm going to talk about Software 2.0, Babel Fish for Deep Learning. So it all started thanks to Claude Shannon. In 1948, Claude Shannon wrote a paper about mathematical theory of communication, and in he introduced a way to encode and decode information thanks to a very simple element called the binary digit. A bit allows representing virtually any kind of information. The information is encoded, computed, and decoded by algorithms. In computer science, we use specific language to describe algorithms. This is what we call software. According to Lera Boroditsky, the language shapes the way we think. So we have different programming languages for different ways to describe an algorithm. Do any of this applies to machine learning? A machine learning instance is made of an algorithm described in a language called mathematics. So transcribing the mathematics into bits of information should be enough to write a machine learning software. Well, it's not. A mathematical representation on its own is not sufficient to run machine learning algorithm. We need to be able to encode what the machine has learned, its knowledge. And its knowledge is simply a bunch of numbers called the weights. Let me take a famous example, the LSTM that loves Shakespeare. It generates a new play from scratch. What we have here is the equation of a recurrent neural network, an LSTM, and we have a file, a CSV file with the weights. If we combine this equation and the weight, the knowledge, we get a Shakespeare. So I took just the example from uh, Andre Carparty. You may know the example already. So Andre Carparty named the file containing the weight the software 2.0. But an information without an algorithm is not a software. It is just a sequence of bits. So what is software 2? How can we write software 2? Which language is suitable to describe a software 2? In theory, whatever fancy programming language can be used. But some of the constraints may influence the way we think or impose some specific implementation. So, to write machine learning nowadays, you need to understand mathematics and hand programming language audit, cloud computing, web services, infrastructure, API, data storage. No, you know, no way. What I, I'd like to get is a, a Babel fish, a Babel fish to transcribe specifically the mathematical model to express it in a computer understandable model. Sadly, as far as I know, the only fish used by data geeks is not a Babel fish. It's Docker. So they just put everything in a container and just say, give it to me and run that in pro into production. There must be a better way. As of today, mathematics remains the best language to express a model. So let's use mathematics. On the other hand, we have Unicode. Unicode has a lot of symbols to use in mathematics. So let's write our own Babel fish, a parser that reads the formulas in Unicode and transpire them into an execution graph. Therefore, there will be a strict separation of the execution machine, which is software 1.0, the mathematical model, which is kind of the software 2.0, and the knowledge, the weights. How does it look like? So, with the Gorgonia team, we've written such a parser. Actually, you can see it's, it's in Go, because Go is great, it's strong. And you see, we have got the equations strictly written in Unicode, and the parser can understand the equations. So for more information and proof of concept, you can have a look at the Gorgonia project, which is coded in Go, as I said. One last question. As data scientists, can you figure out what those pieces of code are representing? Yeah, it's all just a perception, just different way to express it. Thank you very much.